Right, so band for fighthub.com with me. I've got Team Jack out of Daniel, uh, aka the Hitman. What's happening, Atif? Good, 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 bro. Yeah. How are you doing? You all right? Not too bad. Good to see you here in the new in New York. Yeah, New York, beautiful, wonderful city. Uh, we just had the rain for um, your close friend um, and uh, acquaintance in Badu Jack. Yeah, he's up against uh, British very own James Miguel. Um Both looking in great shape. Actually. Yeah, both Back looking in uh, great shape. Credit to obviously. Badu, I've been keeping in ties and uh, touch with him with respect to his training, training camp, and I knew he's, he was looking phenomenal throughout camp. And um, you know, with um, James DeGale, looked in great shape. You know, credit to him, well done. He done a good job, nice on the scales as well, sort of thing. So we've got a fight for world title unification on, and um, it's going to be a great fight. I think it's going to be a fantastic fight. I'm picking uh, Badu. Controversial. Bold, state, bold, you know, bold, bold statement, statement, I know, I understand, but <laughs> I'm going to say Badu uh, late stoppage. I'm going to say but late stoppage. It's been Badu. good as well. We've had a lot of media and a lot of support here for James. Yeah, I, don't know. I think he got good. more, he got a, big, a bigger ovation over um, Badu Jack. Yeah, he did, he did. You know, he had a, he had a good contingency, good, 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 good support, but, you know, in the ring it's just two people there. You know, it's going to be Badu and uh, uh, James. And, uh, you know, may the best man win, but obviously, you know, my prayers and support with Badu and I think uh, and the reason why I'm saying that especially is because his um, strength conditioning trainer Larry Wade it's the first time he's done a camp with Larry Wade phenomenal strength conditioning trainer for me one of the best strength conditioning trainers in the world and the work he's done I think that's been the uh, the mm. X factor in, in Badu's camp and God willing will show up mm. on, on fight night too mm. uh, and his engine is you know his engine for me if I was to look at it from a neutral perspective as well I think Badu's got the better engine yeah. and as the fight goes on stronger I think James will feel it more and Badu will come in really strong and that's where I sense a, a tide in the fight uh, and that's where I'm picking Badu. After Wayne, what does Badu normally do? Does he go out, chill out with the family, have some food? Badu chills out, he's just a quiet guy, he's a quite humble guy so uh, he's just going to go relax, enjoy uh, a bit of food with uh, his family and team and just relax and chill, uh, you know, pray, do his prayers and just, uh, you know, relax. He's just a quiet guy, he's quite an introvert person. So, um, and he just keeps it like that as well, you know, prior to fight, fight night. Let's say Badu was successful tomorrow night. Would you like to see him to stay at 168 and fight people like Callum Smith, the George Groves maybe again, if, you, if, you, if he's victorious, uh, I know he's up against Chudinov, the yeah. WBA version, or would you like to see him go up to 175? Uh, Obviously, Callum's a friend of mine. You know, he's a very good fighter. I think he's a, you know, he's a world champion waiting. Personally, you know, I think Badu, he's got some, you know, he's got some massive, massive fights at 175. You have to, you know, at the end of the day, you have to look at boxing as a business as well. Uh, and the fights he's being, you know, possibly linked with at 175, you've got Adam Stevenson, you've got um, Kovalev, you've got Ward, you've got some big names and. They're big, big, big and money fights. Say, and big money fights. That I'd like to see Badu Jack when he wins against Andre Ward. Hey, he did. So listen, there's things I can't say on camera. Uh, but listen, let's just wait and see. Obviously, he's got a big task ahead uh, with James DeGo. Credit to James DeGo. Very good fighter. Very skillful. Um, you know, but um, you know, he's got to get that task out. You know, out the way first, and then you know we can see of you know his various options. But. Um, you know, it should be it should be very very interesting. I think I think it, you know, it's a bit early to say fight of the year because obviously we're in January. We've got so many quality yeah. fights coming. We've got Garcia Thurman in March. You got you got some great fights ahead. But I think you know it will be it will be a candidate for fight of the year certainly, and uh, it's going to be a good fight. Looking forward to it. I can't wait. I'm going to be dead nervous. I'd probably I don't think I'll be able to eat after breakfast and that's what happens when my close friends fight yeah if I fight I'm cool I'm relaxed I'm, I'm so happy but um, when my close friends fight I get really nervous I get butterflies after breakfast I can't eat but, well let's yeah. just hope it's a good fight overall yeah, for the fans definitely uh, I have to thank you for a few minutes of your time thank you uh, and we'll catch up with you soon definitely Razaban for fighthap.com thank you very much